piss me off. That's my truly that's my true answer. Um, it pissed me off because um, out of 101 votes, I got 16 first first place votes. When LeBron James said finishing second in the MVP race pissed him off, the King's comments set off a predictable firestorm. It's easy to roll your eyes and scoff at James's latest complaint, especially given that in the weeks since, the Lakers reportedly spoke to the league about his lack of free throws. But there's more to James's dissatisfaction than the latest MVP vote. This isn't really about Giannis Antetokounmpo taking home the Maurice Podoloff trophy in 2020. It's about not fully appreciating what LeBron James has given us over the last 17 years. LeBron's argument about MVP voting did have some holes. For one, James referenced missing out on joining the exclusive list of players to win MVP and Defensive Player of the Year in the same season, noting that he finished runner-up to Marc Gasol in 2013 Defensive Player of the Year voting. Antetokounmpo, meanwhile, now joins MJ and Hakeem as the only players on that hallowed list. James's gripe was that Gasol won the award without even making all-defensive first team that season. That doesn't make sense. It's, it's like being the MVP of the league, but you make second team all NBA. That's when I really started to look at things a little bit kind of like differently. I was like, how does that even make any sense? Um, it's like being rookie of the year, but you make second team all rookie. But the catch is that defensive player of the year was voted on by the media and all defensive teams by the coaches. If you're going to use a specific example to make your point, it probably helps your argument if you know the details. So that's on LeBron. Still, in James's defense, he's got a point. One of the two greatest basketball players ever was at the peak of his two-way powers, and he missed out on winning Defensive Player of the Year to a guy who NBA coaches deemed wasn't even the best defensive player at his own position. Wouldn't you be pissed about that? But. What does that have to do with it? No, no, he's got a point. Then there was James's mention of the narrative influencing voters more than the actual basketball happening before our eyes. In reality, the narrative should have helped his case this year, not hurt it. I voted for LeBron James because I tend to be more of a narrative-based voter and I feel like LeBron James took a, a Lakers team that had missed the playoffs six years in a row up to the top spot in the West after all of the dysfunction of the summer before. So I think he gets credit for that. But you can argue that in years past, LeBron has missed out on at least one more MVP because of that season's narrative working against him. Remember Derrick Rose's MVP season in 2010-11? To, to his left, lost his dribble, got it back. Joe King, Rose for three. Ah! 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 Sure, Rose had a great year for a surprising Bulls team that finished with the NBA's best record. But James had a better statistical season, was more efficient, played more minutes, was unquestionably a far superior defender, and was just overall the better player from start to finish for a Heat team that finished third overall. Yet James finished third in MVP voting and only received four out of 121 first place votes. Because let's face it, no one wanted him to win MVP in his first year as the villain post-decision. Man, this is, this is very tough. James averaged better than 26 points, seven rebounds, and seven assists, while shooting better than 50% from the field that season. That's only been done nine times in NBA history. LeBron has six of those seasons. Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, and Oscar Robertson have combined for the other three. James took issue with only receiving 16 first place votes this year. But if we're being honest, Giannis' second straight MVP win should have actually been closer to unanimous. The guy averaged 29.5 points, 13.6 rebounds, 5.6 assists, a steal, and a block in only 30 minutes per game for the league's best team. Antetokounmpo posted the highest in-season PER ever, breaking Wilt Chamberlain's 57-year-old record while also serving as the best defensive player in all of basketball. The MVP in every major sport has always been, and likely always will be, a regular season award. So don't start with me about how the Bucks' playoff performance invalidates Giannis' second MVP. 
What? Oh no, she did not. It is what it is. I would have voted for Giannis this year too. So I'm not gonna sit here now and say more voters should have had James first on their ballots. But all that said, are you really surprised LeBron freaking James thinks he deserved to win? We're not talking about some guy that should have finished eighth in the voting running his mouth. King James averaged 25.3 points and 7.8 rebounds on 57.7% true shooting while leading the league in assists for a team that played at a 60 win pace yet played like the Sacramento Kings when James was off the court. You already know James rightfully carries himself and thinks of himself as the league's best and most valuable player. So what are you really taking issue with? The fact that he admits what we already assume? When one out of every five phrases Michael Jordan utters is, It became personal with me. But me being compared to him, I, I took offense to that. That's all I needed for him to do that. And it, it became personal with me. We celebrate it, meme it, and listen to his Aaroness's disciples explain why that perpetual mean streak is the reason no one, not even LeBron, could ever be like Mike. LeBron says he's pissed off about not winning MVP, and those same people react by calling James petty or a crybaby. Some say the difference is that Jordan would get the job done and then reveal whatever perceived slight motivated him during that year's championship run. Well, in case you haven't realized, James is in the process of once again getting the job done in the playoffs. Where, by the way, he's won more postseason games than any player in history. And fun fact, for all those who still don't understand, that LeBron's 3-6 finals record has more to do with him nearly dragging a few flawed teams to the promised land than anything else. He has a better playoff winning percentage than Jordan himself. Take that for data. Whether it's Giannis, Kawhi Leonard, or perhaps a healthy Kevin Durant or Steph Curry, many have come for the crown over the last decade and a half. But LeBron remains the best baller on the planet. And yeah, you might be sick and tired of hearing it, but the fact he's doing this at 35 years old, in season number 17, with more than 59,000 NBA minutes under his belt, remains absolutely unfathomable. So we're gonna keep talking about it. Think about how much praise Lakers teammates Dwight Howard and Rajon Rondo have gotten at various points this postseason for just finding a way to be positive contributors on the big stage at this point in their careers. LeBron's older and been in the league longer than both of them. It's tough to find many instances of MVPs who were undeserving over the course of James's 17 year career. But when you zoom out and look at the big picture, you've got to admit it doesn't add up. Only four MVPs and zero defensive player of the years? The Greek freak is already halfway to the former and has already won up James in the latter. That's almost as ridiculous as Al Pacino only having one Oscar. This is such a crock of shit. Giannis deserved to win his second straight MVP, but the fact so many people were appalled by LeBron's comments is all the proof you need as to why James is frustrated in the first place. LeBron haters think James's perennial, unprecedented excellence gets too much coverage. But if you're a basketball fan, stop clutching your pearls over how you think LeBron should or shouldn't have accepted a runner-up award. And look at what King James has given us over the last 17 years. Hell, look at what he's still somehow providing hoopheads on a nightly basis. And ask yourself, do you truly appreciate the once-in-a-lifetime athlete in front of you? Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button.